What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overborn. I'm going to be doing my review for the 2003 movie X2. So, uh, in this movie, uh, Colonel William Stryker is leading an assault on Professor X's school for gifted mutants and uh, is trying to build his own version of, of Cerebo, which is the uh, thing uh, Xavier uses for mind control so that he can uh, destroy all mutants and uh, and save humanity from them and so the Brotherhood of Mutants is having to team up with the X-Men Magneto and his team team up with the X-Men to uh, take on Stryker um, and stop him from destroying all of mutant kind uh, this is a really really good movie it's been one of my favorite movies in the X-Men franchise since I first saw it in theaters back in 2011 it's just a really great sequel to the first one it's actually even better than the first one it has some of the best action scenes in the whole franchise and I just love the story um, and I remember going to see this movie in the theater I was not sure what to expect. I was like, what if this movie ends up sucking and stuff because of how good the first one was? And it, it just totally blew my mind. And to me, it exceeded the first one. Uh, the cast are all, once again, excellent in here. Especially Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. He just is great in this movie. And this is one of my favorite performances of him as a character. Um, I just love him in here. And that, that scene when he goes berserker in the... In the uh, mansion and stuff when uh, Stryker's goons are kidnapping the kids and stuff and he goes all berserker and stuff it's just absolutely awesome uh, would have been more cool if it was rated R uh, as we've seen in Logan but it's still really awesome and they really pushed a PG-13 rating in this movie which I thought was cool too because a lot of superhero movies especially ones nowadays don't really push the PG-13 rating anymore um, but I, I thought that was pretty cool too, and uh, all of the the cast that came back, like I said, are really good. Um, Patrick Stewart is once again excellent as Xavier, and Ian McKellen is once again excellent as Magneto. He steals the show every time he's on screen. But all of them are great in here, and you got some new ones in here. Uh, Alan Cumming is. Nightcrawler, really great villain, and he did a really great job playing him. He was kind of a fan favorite, even though he doesn't have, he doesn't do a whole lot in here. He still has a really good screen presence, and he's really great in here. He's pretty well written um, and stuff. And he has that, that awesome scene at the open in the opening of the movie when he's in the White House. That's just a really great scene. Uh, and then. Uh, you got uh, Brian Cox as, as Colonel Stryker, and I think he does a pretty good job playing the character. I'm not sure that I'd say he's the best version we've seen, because we see a couple other versions throughout the franchise, um, but he, he is good. I think I like Jack Houston a little bit more, but he, he's good as Colonel Stryker. Um, and once again, the makeup effects on all the characters look really good, especially on Nightcrawler and Mystique. They both look awesome in here. And it has the CGI has, is a lot better in this movie than it was in the first one. It hasn't aged near as badly. Um, there's a few little scenes like a scene when uh, the pyro is using the, the fire and stuff at the house and stuff when they're attacked. Um, it, that CGI on the fire look, has dated, but aside from that, it looks really good. And it has an awesome score from uh, John Ottman. Uh, he just did a really great job with the music in the movie and it has some pretty good emotional moments too at the end of it when uh, when uh, Jean Grey uh, sacrifices herself and stuff that the acting from James Marsden in that scene is really good um, him and Hugh Jackman both were great in that scene but uh, it, it had a pretty cool 
ending and stuff that unfortunately led to X-Men The Last Stand, which is a movie I have a lot of mixed feelings on. I'll talk about that next week, but, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this movie. It, it, it just, it, it's a lot of fun. It has a lot of nostalgia, too, because, like I said, I saw this in the theater when I was 11, and absolutely just love this movie. It was so much fun, uh, and the action scenes and stuff are just so great in here and the Wolverine versus Lady Death Strike scene was really awesome too I absolutely love it um, and it, it's a, also a lot more brutal than I remember too but it also kind of pushes the PG-13 rating a little bit which is kind of cool um, so but yeah I, I, I absolutely love X2 I think it's a really great entry in the franchise and it's one of my favorite non-MCU Marvel movies, although it could technically be considered part of the MCU once Multiverse of Madness comes out. I don't I don't know how Marvel is doing with gonna uh, do with all these old remote older properties if they're gonna say they're considered canon in the MCU or, or are they not? I have no idea. But it, it is a this one is definitely a great one. And it's one of my favorite superhero movies in general and everything. I just absolutely love this one. So I say I'd give X2 a 10 out of 10. There's not really anything about it that I can complain about. It's very entertaining. It's only it's a little bit over two hours, and it flies by fast. It's just really, really fun movie. And also, it has one of my favorite Magneto moments in the entire franchise too. When the security guard comes in there and he pulls the iron out of his blood, um, it's just really, really awesome. And when I was a kid, it, it freaked me out. I was like, man, that is freaking terrifying, but awesome at the same time. But, yeah, so anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of X2. Is it one of your favorite X-Men movies? Is it one of your least favorites? Let me know in the comments, and hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.